So let me tell you about my friend Pete. My friend Pete was out of the country recently. He was helping a friend move in a foreign land. And after helping his friend, uh, he was on his way home. And he got stopped by the border guard in this foreign country. Um, <clears throat> they wanted to search his car. So he got out and asked, you know, what's the nature of the search? What are you guys looking for? And Pete was immediately pepper sprayed in the face, beaten, arrested, and held overnight in jail. Now, some of his friends were able to help him get out the next day, and they basically turned him loose in a t-shirt uh, with all his stuff impounded, including his car, in arctic conditions. You might be thinking, what sort of shitty-ass third-world hellhole was he visiting to where this could happen? And Pete, a.k.a. Dr. Peter Watts, a marine biologist and one of the greatest living science fiction authors, is Canadian and he was visiting the United States. So, in addition to being maced, beaten, brutalized, and is now facing a felony charge which could land him in jail for two years, uh, essentially for asking a question and then getting punched in the face as a result of it. This happened here. This happened in America. If that doesn't scare the shit out of you, then I don't know what will. Because if you give a shit about your freedom, by definition, you give a shit about the other guy's freedom. All he did was ask a question. What are you guys looking at my car for? So now he finds himself in the unenviable position of facing a felony rap in a foreign country uh, for asking a question. And I've seen this in a couple news stories. If you follow Boing Boing or, you know, some of the science blogs, you probably heard word of it, but right now, Pete needs help um, in the form of money for his legal defense and for attention, uh, because I get the feeling with enough attention brought to bear on this, the Border Patrol would probably drop the charges given the gross misconduct of the officers in question. So, um, if anyone wants to help, I'm going to throw up a bunch of links in the sidebar. You can donate directly for, from his website, rifters.com, and it's not a charitable donation. I mean, all of his stuff, you know, five novels, uh, enough short stories to post, you know, a sixth, are all there for free. Anyone can download it. Christmas is right around the corner. You could buy a book. You could give it to a friend. Um, help the guy out, and you can go to the article on Boing Boing and dig it up. Hit the thumbs up button if you stumble upon just anything you can do to either donate money or to just bring more attention to it. Now, worst case, if you can't do either, I understand that, but, I mean, imagine if it happened to you. You're minding your own business, you get told to get out of your, or, sorry, you're minding your own business, all you want to do is go on home, you get beaten, pepper sprayed and arrested for what? For asking, what are you guys searching for? So, I'm going to throw up his email address. If nothing else, you can send him a quick little note saying, hey man, heard about what happened. I think it sucks. You know, I'm rooting for you at the very least. So, if there's anything you can do to help, I would greatly appreciate it. And, thank you all for watching.